Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First, I want to thank all those people who liked my previous videos and subscribed to my channel. If you have not subscribed as of yet, you can just go down and click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified about my latest videos. So for today's video, my topic is the top five hangout films of all time. Now, a hangout film, in case you don't know, is a film which uh, you know in which the story is like there is almost no story, or the story is really insignificant, and the movie focuses mainly on the characters and the little moments which these characters experience. Uh, so before I start the list, I have two honorable mentions, and they are Dazed and Confused and Before Sunrise, both directed by the great Richard Linklater. And uh, also, I have not ranked any of these films. I have just listed them chronologically according to the year of the release. So let's start. Number one on my list is Band of Outsiders, directed by the great French filmmaker Jean-Luc Godard. Band of Outsiders basically tells the story of uh, three English students living in Paris who uh, plan a heist. But now the heist is a really, like you know, really small part of the story. It's not even in the film. Like it's there in the last 10-15 minutes. Throughout the film, we only see these three, you know, students just uh, flirting with each other. Uh, you know, uh, having coffee. Uh, dancing at a cafe in Paris, running through the Louvre Museum. So basically the movie amazingly captures the little moments that these uh, three people experience rather than the bigger picture, the heist. Number two on my list is Easy Rider. Now this 60s Hollywood film is one of the most important independent movies ever made in Hollywood. It changed the landscape of Hollywood films. The film is directed by Dennis Hopper and stars Peter Fonda along with Dennis Hopper in the lead roles. And it basically tells the story of these two hippies who uh, sort of embark on a bike ride, you know, uh, from California to a Mardi Gras festival. And during this ride, they meet a lot of different characters. They end up in a lot of different situations. But there is not a, you know, like a proper concrete storyline in the film. It's just a bunch of loose incidents which occur one after another. And I think the movie is most famous for being the breakout performance of Jack Nicholson, who is there for hardly 15-20 minutes as this alcoholic lawyer, but he completely steals the show in those few scenes. The movie is also very funny, and at the same time, it's sort of like it's a bit arty, it's a bit philosophical. Number three on my list is Oronne Dinratri. Directed by Shotojit Rai, this film tells the story of four friends played by Shomitra Chatterjee, Shomit Bhanjo, Shubendu Chatterjee and Robi Ghosh who, tired from the daily pressures of city life, decide to spend a few days in the forest in Dalton Ganj uh, and, you know, lead a life with no rules and no boundaries. So, the film basically, like all the movies in this story, uh, all the movies on this list, has no story. It just follows these friends as they decide to stay in a bungalow which is a sort of like a restricted area, they decide not to shave, they decide to drink, uh, you know, for as long as they want. And it's a great film. It's one of Shottujit Rai's best films. It's one of his most, I think, his most uh, sort of subtle poetic films as it explores the relationship between man and nature. Number four on my list is Pulp Fiction. Directed by Quentin Tarantino, this dark comedy tells three interconnected stories. Now, what makes this film a hangout film is that although it has some amount of story in it, it doesn't really focus on the story. For example, it has two gangsters played by John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson who spend at least 10-15 minutes of the film just talking about random stuff like uh, the difference between cheeseburgers in America and Europe, foot massages, the metric system. Just totally random stuff. And that's what made Pulp Fiction different from every other Hollywood film made before that. Which is why it's a classic and one of the greatest films ever made. Finally, number five on my list is The Big Lebowski. My, one of my all-time favorite films. This film is directed by my all-time favorite filmmakers, the Coen brothers. The film basically tells the story of Jeff Lebowski. Who, who is better known as the dude, who is sort of on a quest to find himself a new rug because his um, older rug was 
urinated on by some goons who mistook him for a billionaire. And so now the story goes to some weird places which involve a billionaire, a kidnapped trophy wife, an evil pornographer, a really over-the-top Latino bowler, an, an illegal marmot. It gets really weird. But what makes this a hangout film, in, a, in my opinion, is that it does not focus on its overly complex plot. It simply focuses on the dude and his best friend Walter, a Vietnam War veteran who is still depressed from the effects of the war, as they try to, you know, make sense of this mystery. And through this day, uh, you know, we see the bond that they share, despite them fighting all the time. It's still a, you know, like a really sweet bond that they share. And I think the movie uh, shows that beautifully. It's sort of, it's, it's a dark comedy. So at times it's really funny and at times it's really tragic. But I think it's a must watch if you're a lover of cinema. Anyways, guys, that was the video. Thanks for watching. If you like my channel, do like, share and subscribe. You can also write down your thoughts in the comment section below. So thank you. Bye-bye. I'll meet you next week.